the last ever lockdown vlog. I'm rambling now. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I don't really love it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I've got a band. Look at me, fitness guru. <laughs> I'm over it. Oh my God, guys, do not try that hat because my whole kitchen steamed up. Look how misty it is in here. <laughs> Hi Sally Hoes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully this is gonna be the first, the last even, oh wow, ever lockdown vlog, fingers bloody crossed. Um, and I just wanted to basically like document it so I can look back and that you guys have a bit of entertainment. You get the gist? <laughs> if you are new here, then hello. My name is Tally Sharp. It would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, honestly, when lockdown's over, you are gonna have so much vlog content that you're not gonna know what to do, hopefully. Ooh, can't, can't promise. I feel like I can't promise. But anyway. I'm already getting those things in the diary, you know? I'm already getting those weekend away trips booked, shopping sprees booked, all of that and I will try and take you along with me as much as possible. Obviously, I wanna be able to like enjoy myself as well, but obviously vlog as much as possible. I'm rambling now, welcome to my channel. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm kind of um, equipped, you know, to work out today, um, but I woke up late and normally I train with my brother, um, but yeah, I woke up late, he's already trained. So I'm gonna go to Asda now get my weekly food shop in, which I hate doing, and then come back, train, and then I'm gonna try some TikTok hacks with you guys. Just a lockdown vlog, you know? <laughs> Lol, I did actually fake tan last night. You can't tell on my face, um, because I've been really taking my skincare seriously, although I have this humongous spot here. Don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So I didn't wanna put fake tan on my face, but yeah, I've not washed off yet, and I'm gonna train. So I don't really sweat too much when I train because I'm like weight training in the garage gym that my brother built. So yeah. This is actually the one that I used yesterday. Um, I don't really love it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Honestly, it's the Saint-Tropez one hour hydrating tan and it's a gel. I just don't, I just don't really love it. You guys know my favorite one because I did it in my recent um, lockdown haul please watch that video. I've honestly bought so much stuff throughout lockdown that I don't really want to show you in this vlog because I don't want to go over it, but definitely check that out because I've got so many good things this lockdown and this is just not one of them. <laughs> I just watched some of that clip back and it sounds as if like I'm keep putting my hands on the microphone. Honestly, I have not used this camera enough still. There's not been enough like opportunity to use the camera, so I'm not really used to it yet. But yeah, sorry if the audio was terrible in that. I could still be doing it now. Literally don't know. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you guys about my new hat obsession. Like only on days that I'm not wearing makeup and not doing my hair and stuff, just because I find that your hair, like I look, although my plait's a little bit shit, I look a little bit put together you know? And it just means that I don't have to like do my hair and I can just literally stick on a hat and look a little bit more put together. So I'm kind of loving it. Um, although I don't like it when my ears pop out, which they were in the other clip. But let me know what you guys think about hats and stuff. Like, are you a hat head? I am actually going to show you some of my workout today because I'm really scared I'm holding the camera in the wrong place. What about here? Is that better? I need to get a stick for it as well. I do have one, so I should probably use it. I am going to show you some of my workout um, today because a lot of you have been asking me over on my Instagram, like when I put up my workout Instagram, like, selfie. <laughs> you guys have been saying, like, you'd love to see some bits and bobs of me working out, working out as a plus size woman, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you um, what I get up to. I work out three times a week. I've been doing it for over a month now and I'm super proud of myself. I do actually enjoy it. So, but also not just that, I'm actually starting to see results. Probably the only reason I'm continuing to do it. So for me, my biggest insecurity is always my back, um, which I've told you guys about over on my Instagram before, and also my bum. So like I have a big bum, but it's not a peachy bum, if that makes any sense. And so I've really been working at that 
in the gym that's actually what i'm doing today i do that twice a week and then the one on the wednesday in the middle of the week i'll do like core exercises um i'll do sides back i'll do um arms then friday i'm back to booty legs and hips so that's kind of what i've been doing i've been loving it and um, the earlier i can do it the better just because then i feel like i can be lazy throughout the day num, num. <laughs> obviously i won't talk about this in every video but because you guys <clears throat> sorry because you guys have been asking me about it i wanted to just like tell you and also um just show you what i've been doing so that you can do it too with can do <laughs> I'm not going to take you into Asda with me because it's a bit of a faff. So I'll speak to you guys when I'm done. Okay, we're home. I'm going to do you a little haul. Got some tomatoes. These are the best ones. Got some peppers. This is the best lettuce. No cap. Even though I'm wearing a cap. Diced chicken breast to put in like wraps and stuff. And honestly, guys, this is life changing since I've been doing this. I've been getting cans because I drink far less. Um, and yeah, I get the vanilla flavor. It's like my favorite time of the day when I have that. And then I did get the normal one as well. Got some Uncle Ben's rice. This is my favorite flavor, savory chicken. Got some jumbo cooked hand peeled prawns. Literally, I just defrost them and then you can eat them straight away. I know some people cook them themselves also, but I kind of like them fresh. Got some green olives. I used to be obsessed with green olives and I went to black olives, now I'm back to green. And also these are amazing. These are the jalapeno stuffed peppers from Asda. Love them. And then I just got some Omega fish oil because I've just run out of my other capsules from Holland and Barrett. A little bit upset because like, these don't look as good and they didn't have the other ones, but better than nothing, hey? Okay, so now I actually do look quite tan, like, honestly, I sweated so much in Asda. Basically, I forgot my earphones, so I was like rushing around and yeah, I've literally worked up a sweat. <laughs> so now um, I've got two minutes <laughs> to sort of chill and then I'm going to work out. Basically, I'm gonna just fill up my bottle with some squash. Oh my God, let me show you the squash. Obviously, everyone's tried this squash before, but it's my current fave, the fruit and barley one. Obviously, um, it will never replace my actual favorite, which is mango squash. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually fucking tired. <laughs> anyway, I made my little squash. I actually genuinely don't like drinking out of glasses. Um, I like drinking out of bottles just because then you know it's not going to spill, you're not going to knock it over. Um, yeah, let's try these. I kind of feel happy that I actually finished the other pack because I'm really bad at taking vitamins. Like, I always forget. I stink like fake tan as well. I'm actually still sweating. Oh, okay. It literally is the exact same as my other ones. Oh, yay. I've shown you this before. In one of my vlogs. My drugs for the day. <laughs> okay, we're in the garage. This is, I'll show you around. So we've got a box here full of boxing gloves. My pink boxing gloves are in there somewhere. We've got some yoga mats, we've got some bars, some weights and stuff. Little bench and this machine. And then we have a mirror, which is great. So I'm just gonna set up these bars um, with, is this a quarter bar? I don't bloody know, I'm not a gym guru, you know what I mean? But with the bar on top and I'm gonna do squats. So I'll show you. Okay, I think I'm gonna put on music um, and add music on top of this for you guys. I don't wanna get copyrighted and you need music to work out. I need to make a playlist. Comment down below like your workout playlist if you have a workout playlist. What kind of music would be on there? 
So here we go at the gym, it would obviously look a lot different. Um, but that bar is 15 kilos. So I'm basically squatting 15 kilos on my back. Look, look back while I turn. No comparison. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, gadget. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Yeah. Acting stupid. What was happening? Yeah. What was happening? Yeah. I'm a savage. Hips tick tock when I dance. On that demon time, she might start her OnlyFans. Big B and that B stand for bands. If you wanna see some real ass, baby, here's your chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it low with this wine. Text is up in this time, put you up on this game. I be talking my friend. Gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype. Write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches, I just raise my price. I'm a boss, I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater and my mama. So in that horrendous clip of me, my facial expressions when I work out are not cute at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I do this four times and on the ninth one, so I do 10, I will pulse for about 10 seconds or five seconds, depending on how hard I can push myself that day. <laughs> Baby, here's your chance. I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it low this swing. Text is up in this thing, put you up on this game. I be talking my friend, gang, 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 gang. If you don't jump to put jeans on, baby, you don't feel my pain. Please don't give me hype. Write my name in ice. Can't argue with these lazy bitches, I just raise my price. I'm a boss, I'm a leader. I pull up in my two seater, and my mama was a savage. Got this shit from Tina. Left cheek, right cheek. Please don't give me hype. Left cheek, right cheek. Write my name in ice. This shit from Tina. I'm a I pop my shit now, watch me pop up again. <laughs> I use this <laughs> to film that last clip. Um, God, I'm out of breath. I use this as like my stand. I should have actually just brought my stand in here. I don't know why I didn't do that, but uh, hey. So now I'm gonna do some banded work. <sighs> I'm kind of going for that hourglass figure. <laughs> so I'm just working my hips to give me that shape. So I'll show you. So I've just done, I've done two sets. <laughs> um, and basically what's good about this workout is you can do everything I'm doing at home. Like you don't need to just have this equipment or the bands. You can do everything I'm doing without the equipment. If you just squat, like your body weight is enough. So don't get discouraged by the fact that like I've got equipment here just because my brother has to have it kind of thing. And so I'm lucky enough to be able to use it, but yeah. those now I'm gonna do donkey kicks um, but I am gonna use this machine for it um, what you can do is if you have bands you can use those or just do them laying down you know I'm not a fitness guru or anything but I'm sure you can do these at home if you adapt it show you I think my last exercise today so I've got a band look at me fitness guru <laughs> um, and I've got 
a mat and I've got a, what's that called? Medicine ball. Medicine ball. I've got a medicine ball here, guys. Okay, so what I'm doing with these in this clip is basically chest exercises. You can do this with just any weights really. Um, this isn't a heavy weight because it's actually really hard. Working your chest is really hard for me. Basically, I want perky boobs. So working the chest is also something that's really important in my workout routine. By the way, I might as well just say like I do everything for four sets. Look at my fake tan. It's actually so bad. Let's see this one. That's even worse. chest instead I just kind of do what I want to do but I always do two days of booty because that's like my main focus but yeah I'm gonna jump in the shower now I need it so I've just used this coming out the shower absolute current fave it's going down really quick so I'm a little bit upset about that my brother came in the other day put some on his hands and was like oh that smells good <laughs> So he approves. Um, okay, what should I do first? Normally I do my skincare first, then I moisturize, and then I do my hair. But I've already moisturized because obviously I don't want to be on here naked, you know. Should I show you my current skincare routine? Are you interested or is that gonna take up too much time? Comment down below if you want a skin routine. I normally use the Kiehl's, the Kiehl's toner, um, but I've already done that. So I'm just gonna go in with my Total Eye Care by Dermalogica. Um, this is really good if you get milia, which is like the white, the small white bumps. I don't normally get it, but I was using this really rich eye cream and I got it. Because the eye area is so sensitive and the skin is so thin there, that if you use two rich products around your eye area, then it could cause milia, basically. I'm going to go in with my... Dermalogica C Pure Bright Serum. This does change, like I got a, I'm gonna show you some PR later on in this vlog, but I got this huge drunk elephant PR package. They honestly treated me. I'm really touch sensitive by the way. So when I touch my skin, I go really, really red. So yeah, I'll show you all my PR later. Honestly, hashtag blessed. So then I'm starting to use a SPF every single day, even if I'm just staying in because rays might come through the window and my pigmentation or like my scarring from previous breakouts, especially around my jaw area, I'm trying to like look after that. So always gonna wear SPF. Okay, I'm dying to do my hair because look at it. I saw this hack on um on tiktok how to clean your brush and i want to try it but it also looks really long -winded. i'm taking this oil this is the garnier ultimate blends hair oil it's actually one of my favorites i'm honestly getting to that stage where my hair is too long and it's driving me insane i'm over it when lockdown's lifted i'm getting it calm i can't be bothered with it anymore it's too long it's too much effort i mean i'll probably still get it like 
probably on par with my breasts. I think that's a good healthy amount off, to be honest. And then I think I want to get it coloured as well. Okay, my hair's annoying me. <laughs> I'm going to put this in and do some makeup. Just a little summon summon to feel a little summon summon better. Okay, so actually I've been loving this primer at the moment. Got this in a glossy box and I think it's so nice. It really feels in your pores and gives you like a clear canvas. As usual, everything's linked down below. That way I don't have to name everything. So now I'm gonna take this Dermalogica primer. I can't be bothered to wear foundation today. So I'm just gonna take some of this and use my fingers to blend it out. Really, I should wash my hands so that I don't break out, but honestly, CBA. A few dots of concealer. This is my favorite one, as you guys already know. Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to set that with a little bit of powder. A little bit of powder. This is like the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. It's actually my favourite. I think it's like really subtle. And I like the colour of it. I'm excited to try this TikTok hack, to be honest. And I also take that bronzer in my crease as well. And all I'm going to do with the brows is just gel them up. I'm going to use this Bear With Me NYX Brow Gel. Yeah, a little bit like that. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes, put some mascara on, and I'll see you in a jiffy. Okay, so we're done. Hair is absolutely soaking still. <laughs> okay, we're going to do some TikTok hacks because I saw them and I was like, oh my God, I really want to try them. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to get two pieces of bread i can actually have bread never normally have bread in the house okay and then get chocolate they actually did use a different chocolate but i'm going to put two squares in the center and then but it wastes a lot of bread i think you basically get a cup i don't even know where the chocolate is okay it's like in the middle so you get a cup and then you squidge it down. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know if I want to risk it. Put that in there. Let's try a bucket. Oh my God, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh my God. Okay, okay it just popped. <gasps> How am I gonna get it out? Oh my God, I can smell burning. Sorry guys, I need two hands over here. Oh my god, I can't get it out. Oh my god, I can't get it out. Oh my god, I can't get it out. This was a terrible idea. It's now stuck and there's probably chocolate all down the toaster. Absolutely, do not fucking try this. Oh my god, literally, I don't know if you can see, all the chocolate's just melted in there. Excuse how grimy this fucking toaster is though. So yeah, that's a fail. I'm not gonna try anymore because Quite frankly, I'm pissed off now. I'm gonna wait for that to cool down. Oh my God, it's saying no battery. Oh my God, this camera's so bad. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna take out the chocolate um, when it's cooled down and then I'm just gonna have to clean it. I knew I shouldn't have tried it. I knew as soon as I lifted up the cup, I was like, no. <laughs> I think I need a bigger cup, but anyway. Oh my God, guys, do not try that hack because my whole kitchen is completely steamed up. My toaster is steaming. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how to clean a toaster. I can't even show you. Yes, I can. Look how misty it is in here. Do not try this. Two hours later. Hopefully I haven't got food in my teeth. Hi Tally Ho, I'm at my desk now. Um, I had to clean the toaster for like 20 minutes. Let's move on from this absolute disaster. I'm just at my desk and I've just signed um, a new contract with Fashion Nova. So I'm super excited to continue working with my favorite brand ever. You guys already know. <laughs> um, 
I wanted to talk to you about like the books that I've been reading recently. So you know that I've been reading, um, I've kind of stopped doing it as much. I feel like my self-development season has come to an end and I feel like now I just need to start or continue integrating that into my everyday life. But um, I was reading the book Five Love Languages. I'll leave it linked below. It's honestly so good just to strengthen your relationship with anyone. It could be, they've got a singles book and they've also got like a relationship book. They've got like loads of other ones as well. I've read the single one and I've read the relationship one, but you can just apply it to any relationship that you have with anyone. So I think it's so good to like learn about love and how you can show it, how you receive it, and then understanding people a lot more as well. The book is so good for that, honestly. Like my relationships have really strengthened and I figured out my love languages, which I mean, I've got, I appreciate every single way that someone can show me love, but my main ones would be quality time. And I'd say gifts. Gifts is a strong one. Um, and the other ones are words of affirmation, physical touch, and acts of service as well. Um, but anyway, I wanted to tell you about that because honestly, I apply it to like everyday life now. <laughs> me and my brother, my brother read it with me, the second one, um, which was the one for singles. And we just like point out cute things now, like when someone walks past you and puts their hand on your shoulder or something, it's like physical touch. And it's just, it's just nice. So yeah, I'll leave that link down below. Anyway, I want to um, open up some PR with you guys and then I'll leave you, um, start editing this vlog for you and yeah, get working on this new fashion over contract. Absolutely buzzing. Oh, nearly, <laughs> nearly bloody forgot the most important thing, didn't I? I am doing a giveaway at the moment. The winner will be announced in my next vlog. So definitely enter that. Uh, everything will be in the description, but basically you need to follow me on my Instagram, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then tag three friends in my Instagram post. So yeah, definitely enter my giveaway. It's just like a little spring one. Everything in it, apart from one product, is pink because we're going into spring. It's a bit of skincare, a bit of makeup, um, a lip mask, stuff like that. Some Dermalogica bits and yeah, so definitely enter that. The winner will be announced in my next vlog. And yeah, let's open up some PR. Here's the giveaway stuff, by the way. <laughs> oh, I blurted out my address. I'm so clever. <laughs> Look at all these boxes though that I keep from PR, just in case I ever wanna run giveaways or I need the packaging, um, then I'll just like reuse it. Oh my God, you actually stood up on two boxes and then three books and then like, I wanted to tilt up the camera lens. So you're balanced on a packet of chewing gum. <laughs> okay, so this is the Drunk Elephant PR that I got. Absolutely buzzing. They've also sent me their retinol, which I really want to start to use. Basically, retinol is the only thing that is proven to reverse signs of aging. It's a strong vitamin A. It's very strong and you really need to introduce it slowly. So I've just been using the smallest amount, mixing it with a moisturizer, um, and then also using the serum that comes with it, just because vitamin A can actually make your skin a little bit dry. So it's just important to keep the skin hydrated whilst you're using it and to definitely use an SPF the following day or every single day. That's what I'm starting to do, um, but I didn't do that before. And I'm only using it like once a week at the moment and then I'll progress to two times a week and then hopefully I can start using it more and more and see like the effects of it. Alongside this once a week, they've sent me this, which I'm so excited to use. This is the TLC Baby Facial. This is basically an at-home mask that will exfoliate, not just superficially on the skin, but on like deeper as well. It will help with pigmentation, it will give you new skin, it's just gonna like renew the skin, which is exactly what I need to get rid of like pigmentation and stuff. I do, I have been using the Dermalogica, what are they called? Resurfacing peels or something? Um, I haven't seen amazing results using that. Um, so I'm kind of excited to step up my game and use this one. They say with this retinol that you should use um, this serum, which they sent me, honestly, they sent me this whole big package. I'm honestly stunned. This is their intense hydration serum. Um, they have got a sample in here, so I'm just using that for now. 
Okay, so this is the next thing um, that I want to start to use twice a week, which I've already used twice a week this week. Um, and this is the Glycolic Night Serum. This makes my skin a little bit red, but that's just because it's really, really strong. It's got AHAs and BHAs. So um, like this one I just spoke about, it doesn't just... Um, exfoliate the skin superficially it also goes deeper it helps with fine lines wrinkles pores all of the good stuff tone and texture most importantly for me at the moment now this one the first time i used it i used um a keels oil afterwards because it was opened um and it didn't quite work um it says to use this oil which they've also sent me um their virgin luxury facial oil um that was last night and i can tell you now that it's much better using their oil with this type of strong serum my skin doesn't feel dry today it feels really smooth so yeah really like that oil and then they've sent me a hydration mask as well and they've also sent me their moisturizer and i've used this before in canada it's got like eight or nine i'm pretty sure it does it's got like eight or nine different oils in here so it's super hydrating i used it in canada when it was like minus 30 it was so cold and this really helped to just keep my skin hydrated and plump so that's actually one of my favorite moisturizers so thank you guys so much for that and then they sent me their jelly cleanser um, as well which I won't use yet because I wanted to use that Dr Dennis one I spoke about in my last haul because I'm using that retinol and I'm also using that glycolic um, my skin is like it's not dry and it feels smooth but if you don't use the right products then it can definitely feel dry and not smooth so so yeah thank you so much drunk elephant so then super drug actually sent me their new misguided beauty so misguided are coming out with some beauty products and they sent me some um they also sent me some prosecco so fully appreciating that thank you super drug they've sent me their super fix fixing mist which i'm excited to use because it kind of looks like hairspray which makes me feel like it's going to be like a really long lasting facial setter a liquid highlighter i'll definitely try out these and let you guys know they're plumping lip gloss they've got like a mattifying primer can you even see this it's quite bright in here isn't it a tinted brow marker and something i'm super excited about is they've got this like freckle marker freckle pen they call it and i think that's perfect for spring and summer like i've definitely been on the freckle trend like drawing freckles on so i'm probably gonna do that again this year imagine with like two space buns or something that'd be so cute coachella vibes honestly then we've got the gloss liquid eyeliner and then we've got these little things which look super cute we've got a dew pop which i'm guessing is like a like highlighter um and then we've got a pigment eye cream an eyeshadow cream so I'm super excited to try this. Misguided, we see you making moves, we do. Let me not forget that I got a PR package from um, Dolls Kill, which is a brand I've never worked with before. And they have sent me, well, basically, I want to start up a new hobby. And that is, I'm a little bit nervous to say, to be honest, but it's roller skating roller skating not blading blading is when it's like in one line and i saw on their website that they've got some and they sent me them so i'm super grateful for that just ordered some pads so as soon as they come i'll get practicing on this i've never done it before and also i can't like ice skate so i'm very nervous but in Brighton, it's kind of good because along the seafront, you've got banners pretty much the whole way down. So at least I'll have something to hold on to for the beginning. But I just don't want people to see me. It was a little bit embarrassing. I want to shout out all of you in this video. I need to sneeze. Oh, no. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I hope you said bless you through the screen there. Yeah, I want to shout all of you out for all of your continued support and love. I love you guys so much. I've really missed vlogging, but you know, this lockdown life just just gets a bit repetitive, <laughs> gets a bit boring. There's not really much to talk about watching Netflix all day. Oh, if you've got any Netflix suggestions, write them down below. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. Um, 
also check out my latest haul because if you like watching me doing like unboxings or anything like that then honestly it's like a 30 minute video of me showing you what I've been buying. I do have a haul coming up very soon um, that I know you will enjoy. Let's fingers crossed that this is the last lockdown vlog that you guys will be watching. Maybe I should vlog on the day that lockdown lifts just to go absolutely ape, you know, and just <laughs> live our best lives, show you what I get up to, stuff like that. Thumbs up this video if you want that. I really hope that you enjoyed me showing you what, like, what I've been doing whilst I've been working out recently. Normally, like, when lockdown's not a thing, I swim and I box, um, but obviously, you can't do that when you're in lockdown. So that's why I kind of took up the weight training, wanted to like keep active, still been going on my walks and stuff, um, but I just wanted something a little bit more. So that's why I kind of started. And also I just wanted to put it to the test to see if I can see any results and I can definitely see those squats doing their thing. So I'm really happy about that. Let me know if you want more workout videos as well, because I actually really enjoyed doing that for you guys today. Um, and as soon as the gyms open up, hopefully, I can do it easier, easier. Oh, that's not a word. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you for my next video.